Split call five minutes, Mojo Mathers. Thank you. I'm very pleased that we are supporting this bill. Back in December 2011, just after this uh, 50th Parliament had uh, started, uh, the first mass emails were from people extremely concerned about the food bill. And we had literally inundated with um, hundreds, if not thousands, of emails uh, due to a very effective social media campaign that expressed significant concern that this bill had far too far, far reaching powers. And you could sort of understand the um, concerns that people were expressing because the ability to grow our own food to serve a surplus with our family and friends, to contribute that surplus to fundraising events, is a fundamental part of our Kiwi identity. It is a contribute to our own sense of well-being, to our sense of security, and to our sense of community resilience and independence. And we're talking about things like the fruit and vegetables from the garden, jams and pickles, surplus eggs that a few of our chooks may have laid and baking and so on, and heritage seeds and trading these heritage seeds and trading these heritage fruits among people. Right. And so people uh, were very, very concerned that this bill might uh, be unduly restrictive and pose, um, uh, discourage people from undertaking these activities. And that, of course, was extremely concerning for us as the Green Party because we strongly believe that we need to be doing everything that we can to promote and encourage independent food production amongst families and at the local community level. And for me personally, this week uh, really highlighted during the Christchurch um, Canterbury earthquake. And so soon after the February quake, um, the road to the Christchurch East, in particular to the New Brighton, were cut off. The supermarkets were closed. There was very little, nowhere where you could go and buy food. And our bikes over there, and what we saw with people who had surplus in their gardens and so on, putting their surplus food onto the pavement in plastic bags with signs saying, please help yourself. It was an absolute saver for people that the community to get together, use their collective goods and their surplus produce from the gardens and the food that they had in their cupboards and so on, and share that amongst each other. And since the crisis earthquake, uh, because of the incredibly important role of um, being able to grow your own, there's been a renewed interest in things like community gardens and growing your own. And so, Whatever happens, we don't want to be imposing, in the name of food safety, restrictive controls on that ability at that sort of very grassroots level. But it deems, of course, to fundraising and so on. And so it's fantastic that the, um, we are now supporting this bill, and um, part due to the fact that Steph and my colleagues uh, Stephen Browning, tremendous work in articulating the concerns of small producers, of um, local food producers and so on, and watching for their interests. And we're very um, pleased that the committee has listened to the concerns and the minister as well, and has come back with a bill that seems to strike the right balance between um, ensuring food safety, ensuring protecting our international reputation, but not being unduly restrictive on local food producers. Thank you. Carol Beaumont. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Um, it is a pleasure to uh, rise and speak on the food bill. Um, this is an important piece of legislation.